Hi guys and welcome to another Jeremy Hunt of the Month. This week's hunt is Kevin Hollenrake, Tory MP. So Kevin appeared on Politics Live where he was challenged by Joe Corbyn, the host, over the extra money people with tracker mortgages were forced to pay as a result of the intervention by the Bank of England after the disaster of the mini-budget, which I might add had not seen Quasi Quartang or Liz Truss kicked out of the Conservative Party. But have a listen to his response. Can we just Cuts. clarify for our viewers who have found themselves in the position that Nick Erdley has just outlined, they will have had to find hundreds, possibly thousands of extra pounds for however long um, if they were on or if they signed up to a fixed rate then, even if they were on a tracker, they will have had to have paid a certain amount of money over and above what they were expecting to pay for several months at the very least. Can you just accept that? And that voters, those voters particularly, will be very cross with the Conservatives. Well, I don't see there's a noticeable difference between mortgage rates today and mortgage rates back then. That's my <laughs> point on this. So uh, to, to try and draw some, draw some uh, analogy between the two different positions, I think, is the wrong thing. No, it's about the experience of voters and mortgage payers who found themselves paying more for their mortgages as a direct result of what happened in that mini-budget. Principally, budget. people are paying higher rates on their mortgages because of the Bank of England's action to <laughs> tackle inflation. That's All right. the reality. All right, well, let's... Oh my God. Okay. Um, after the the mini budget, the Bank of England intervened and raised interest rates and it put up, uh, it made people's mortgages much more expensive. The rates have come down again somewhat, but for a period of time, people were paying massive amounts. Now, in the comments responding to this, people were talking about between eight, an extra £80 a month, £1,000 a year, uh, 300 pounds a month extra in some cases as a result of the mini budget the conservatives mini budget and as i said at the beginning liz truss and quasi quartering were not punished over this yes they left well one of them was fired and the other resigned but they didn't suffer any financial cost over this um, and they weren't removed from the conservative party but the what is he doing here this is damage control this is taking. This was recorded just before the election, the the local elections, and the Tories believe they're going to face a bloodbath. They're going to get a bloody nose at uh, at the election. They're going to lose a lot of seats, and this is an attempt to hold on to as many councils and um, council seats as possible. Hopefully, they get swept out of office. Um, at least on the on the local level we'll have to wait for another while for the general election but just a little bit more about kevin himself which is quite this is an interesting story from that was covered by the observer a couple of years ago it says uh, in april 2021 the observer revealed that holland rake claimed expenses of 2925 pounds each month between april and november 2020 to pay his own rent despite renting out five uh, residential properties of his own in York. Okay, so he claimed expenses <laughs> in London, even though he had five residential properties in his hometown or his home county. When asked to comment, Holland Rake acknowledged that he owned other properties, but claimed to have seen a substantial reduction in earnings since leaving the private sector and said that he did not think it was it would be reasonable for him to have to pay uh, for his own accommodation expenses in London. So he's making money renting out properties and he still thought it was justified claiming expenses, £3,000 a month in London. Now, I don't know what sort of property he was renting. Did he have to bring his family with him as well? Um, couldn't they stay back in York? Why did, I don't know, maybe, maybe they weren't staying in York. But £3,000 a month seems pretty high for a bed sit in London, no? Or maybe I'm wrong. This is why, well, this is in part why he's our hunt of the month. See you next time for our next hunt of the month.